Welcome back to my channel. This is Lawrence Ifine. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can be able to access this 1688 website through the Chrome browser if you're finding it difficult to access it. Recently, an update was carried out and then users are finding it difficult to log in into the 1688 um, website through the Chrome browser. But this video is going to resolve that issue. All right. So stay tuned while I take you through the processes involved. Okay, guys, I am on the Chrome browser right now, and I'm trying to access the 1688 website from the Chrome browser, right? And if I try, after typing the 1688.com, I'll try to load it, and I'll get this type of error, okay? And I'm getting this error. You can see the error. It says 403 forbidden. You don't have permission to access the URL or this URL is denied by region, whatever, whatever. Now, if you're having this issue and you actually want to access the 16th website from the browser, okay, and you're having this issue, in this video, I'm going to show you all you need to do in order to be able to access it. Using a VPN is not secure and is not safe for you because most of these Chinese platforms, they don't like using a VPN to access them. Let's take, for instance, WeChat. If you're using, if you're using a VPN to access your WeChat account and the WeChat platform system detects it, automatically they are going to permanently block your account. All right. So it is not safe to actually use a VPN to access most of all these Chinese platforms. So this method I'm going to show you is a safe method that will not warrant you risking your 1688 account. So in order for you to access this website, all you need to do is to click on the three dots above. You click on the three dots above. You're going to get a drop down menu like this. The next thing you need to do is to click on desktop site. All right. You click on desktop site. As I click on it, it's going to reload. It's going to reload and still give me this same issue. So if you are still having this same issue after turning it on, if you check my desktop mode is active right now, you can see it is active and I'm still having this issue. So the next thing you're going to do is to go out of the desktop mode, then click on the URL, click here on the URL, all right, tap there, and then you're going to see a drop down like this. Then click on the pencil icon, click on the pencil icon to edit this link so all you need to do if your url is like this just erase everything at the back then stop at dot com then come back where you have the m at the back go back erase the m then replace it with d all right it's going to send a redirect to this page because it is a wrong page so if it's going to redirect to the to this page and then if you have this same issue all you need to do Click here, all right, and drag this button towards this way. If you have this, most cases it will not come up. So, but if you have it, just click and drag this towards the right. Then it's going to redirect to the uh, wrong page and then redirect to the main page. All right, so you can see it's redirecting now and the page has loaded. So now you can actually translate the website. Click on translate. And then you can go back, you can see the website have actually loaded. Then you can maximize. Okay. You can actually maximize it. In most cases, if you are trying to maximize it through the center here, it gives you issue. All you need to solve that is come towards this direction. Come towards this direction, this space. All right. So use your two fingers and touch towards this end and it's going to allow you to maximize it that's what i'm doing if you watch here if you watch here now it will maximize i scroll down so but if you try to use it or if you try doing it from the center it will refuse you from just go towards the side and then it will go through all right so in this way you can actually access the 16 it its website let's say i want to visit the product page let me go back let me try this product page products so you can see so before now if you get to this page now you can actually log in into your 16 it's up uh, into your 16 it's it, uh, account all right if you want to log in you can scroll up okay you can maximize then come up you can always translate now so just translate 
translate you can see where you click to login just click here and it will take you to the login page okay so you can see i'm on the login page so right now i can actually enter the details remember you can always translate if the translation if the translation goes gaga all right so so if it doesn't open you can always translate then on this page you know that most times if you have a page like this a page on top of a page it will find it difficult to translate so in this case you can always use your google you can always use your high translate or any of the translators app or any of the translating app from your play store so that's how to do it so here you can actually log in this is entering your phone number here and then getting a, a qr code um getting an otp that will enable you to log in all right so that is it so that's how to do it so i can go back i can actually close this page by closing clicking here I'll click here i'll close it i can visit any product page right now is opening a product page so you can see that this product page has loaded completely so i can always translate click on the translate button and it's going to translate it all right so in this case you can always you know you can always uh, maximize you can see the products so everything is displaying right now so you can go through the main product page and view everything you wish to view okay detailed right so if you found this video helpful don't forget to click on the red subscribe button if you have not subscribed also turn on the bell notification also like and share this video to people who may need it all right thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video bye